Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dwight with Retro Crypto YouTube channel here. Got an awesome video for you right now on Dogecoin. It is April 15th at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the good old US of A. Uh, but before we get started, I've got to ask you, hit that like button. Take a second, hit that like button, support my channel. Help me grow, guys. The channel is actually growing, and I, it's happening because of you, and I appreciate the blessings that you guys are blessing me with. And you would not believe how much of this blessing just to hit the like button. And also, leave comments. The more comments, the better. I love chatting back and forth with you guys. And subscribe. All right. With all I said, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just an ordinary guy out there on the internet with a passion for cryptocurrency. It's essential that you do your own research before making any and all financial decisions. All right. What's so big? What's the big deal about Doge, right? Okay. Here we go. Doge right now is at a number nine market cap slot. Um, you can see it's up four point. What is that? Can't quite see it. Four point nine percent right now at this very moment. Uh, Dogecoin it, market cap is at $22 billion, 890 million. Absolutely phenomenal. Last 24 hour volume was $3.8 billion. I mean, these numbers are hard to fathom, but they're real and it's absolutely awesome, in my opinion. Um, Dogecoin proves the tr everything about crypto. And what did people, when people, make the little snide comments too about cryptocurrency i also make my little snide comment back that anything is possible with cryptocurrency elon took musk took something that was a joke and made it it's a player and it has to be respected i was one of the people that used to say how much i hated dogecoin and what it stands for now it is what it is gotta embrace it must embrace change all right now moving forward uh before we jump into what elon musk did today uh right now guys we want to be, always be conscious of where we're at right now the market is in greed last yesterday we were greed uh last week was extreme greed and last month was extreme greed so you always want to keep an eye on this this way you you know keep your mentality in check right now i feel the, the market's in a pullback with the bitcoin happening coming up but i'm excited about that because when the market pulls back i truly feel that we're in a bull market still so I see buying opportunities, okay? But that's me. You, you got to do your own research and be confident in the decisions you make. All right. Let's jump right into the hot news today for Dogecoin. Right here, uh, the mainstream media having to cover Dogecoin as a top 10 crypto. And Elon Musk, that looks like mum's word. Like, I want to say, but I can't. I don't know. Look at those eyes. I mean, Elon Musk is an extremely intelligent man. This is this post, I believe, is very purposeful, and it, it, it caused the coin to pump up a little bit earlier and then pull back. But um, don't forget what Elon Musk was able to do during a previous bull run. In that case, he actually orchestrated a pumping dump for all, as far as I'm concerned, with Doge. But this time, I don't think it is a pumping dump. I think he has actual plans. And there are some projects out there with rumors and all. I don't want to go into that. I just want to go into what we have as facts. And right now, the facts is. Elon starting to tweet again about uh, Dogecoin. And what's the coincidence that we are right at the Bitcoin halving? Because if I look up the Bitcoin halving right now, having we should be, what, like four days away? So let's, let's look it up real quick. Take two seconds here. Boom. And the Bitcoin halving is da -da -da -da, four days, three hours, and nine minutes away, guys. So we are approaching it. So, um, yeah, I think... I, I have a piece of the pie with Dogecoin. Now, let's take a quick look at this article, and then we're going to dive into some technical analysis. Then I'll let you guys go so you enjoy your evenings. All right. All right. Dogecoin uh, is green after New Elon Post. Let's jump into this article here. The price of Doge, the latest meme coin, spiked more than 4% after Elon Musk posted yet another meme devoted to Bitcoin parity on his X page. Must share it, his variation of popular biggest dickest joke from the 1979 comedy film Monty Python's Life of the Brain. The billionaire has portrayed the mainstream media as members of the infantry from the historical comedy film. They are barely capable of suppressing laughter due to the fact that they have to cover the popular meme coin now that it is among the top 10 biggest cryptocurrencies by the market cap. Much driven price spike was rather short-lasted, meaning that the power of the billionaire social media post is fading. The controversial entrepreneur is largely responsible for pushing Dogecoin into the limelight in 2021 and is igniting its massive rally that ultimately resulted in meme coin occupying fourth place by market cap and briefly just surpassing $85 billion in market capitalization. However, the meme coin then plunged following Musk's SNL appearance in May 2021. I forgot about that. All right. Despite um, being down more than 
3% from its all-time high, it remains the 10th biggest cryptocurrency by market cap. It is currently valued at $22.1 billion. Whoever thought that would have happened, guys? A new use case of Dogecoin. At the same time, Musk affirmed that the X will start charting all new users a small fee in order to be able to post, like, and bookmark new content. The entrepreneur claims that it is the only way of dealing with the relentless onslaught of bots. Musk claims that it is impossible to deal with bots due to modern AI technologies that make it impossible to bypass restrictions. Some X users have suggested Dogecoin should be used in order to pay for posts on social network. All right. So that's that's that, guys. Um, I, 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 I see it coming. I don't know about you. Do your own research, but I see a pump coming for Dogecoin, and I have a piece of that pie. All right, let's take a look here. Then I'm using the market cipher chart. This is a free version called Voom, an open source free version called Voom Manchu that you can find on TradingView, um, and it's free. Like I said, um, so we're gonna look here on April 10th. We had a change from previous trend and a sell signal actually. I mean a buy signal. A bullish continuation, bullish, then a bearish continuation. That little Rex it, X is Rex. The little X is a short signal that was on April 11th, then a bullish continuation, a bearish continuation, a sell signal, and then another bearish continuation that fired off on April 15th, which was today. Now that was the Vu Manchu B A chart. Now if we look at the B chart here, you'll see. The blue is the momentum, which is rising. Um, the volume, which is yellow, is down, but it's still technically up. Cash flow is neutral for what I can see. I don't see really any red or green right there. Um, we were in the middle of a buy channel here, a bull channel. Exited out with the sell signal, but it looks like we're going bearish. That's a bearish signal. But now it looks like we're going back into a bullish buy channel here. So to be for sure, so to be certain for sure that's it for sure to be certain let's look at this two hour chart to be careful here you had a change from previous trend on april 15th a bearish continuation a short signal drop this is probably where the article fired off and then we had a little come up there um we're riding through this channel here which is a sell channel i'm going to say i'm still 100 percent bearish as far as dogecoin is concerned according to the market cipher chart and that's taking it down to the two hour chart and I'm so curious, I'm gonna put it on a one hour chart and one hour chart has it as bullish, but be careful guys. One hour chart is very volatile, okay? It's cool for traders. So if I wanted to trade it, I could trade off of this, but I'll be careful. Um, actually, I might trade off of it, <laughs> but that's a whole separate story. All right, so right here, you see uh, it's going right up to this channel here, which on an hourly chart, it is bullish without a doubt, but um, be careful. All right, let's jump forward over here very quickly. We're going to look at the VRVP chart here. In between the Bollinger Bands, you can see on a four hour chart, uh, it's definitely on the bearish side of things. It's on the bottom side of the median line here. Ichimoku is predicting a little bit of bullishness, but then it looks like it's going to go back to bearishness, bearish prediction on April 16th. Uh, the stochastic RSI, which is short term RSI, is up very much so, but it does look like it's pulling back. Now, the long term RSI is working its way up towards the median line, but it's definitely in the bearish territory. Now, if we look at this with the two hour chart, okay, two hour chart does indicate that, mm, it's actually, the Bollinger Bands actually has it slightly bullish, honestly, just a hair. Um, Ichimoku has it bearish on a two hour chart. The classic RSI is neutral, and I'm gonna consider the RSI neutral. Uh, take from that what you may, just, um, but I okay, new bear. This, these two are neutral, and this is I'm going to go neutral with the two hour chart. Four hour chart has it bearish, so if it's going to be neutral, I'm going to say go bearish with big with Dogecoin for now. Which, when something's down, is a good time to buy. So red is good in my opinion. All right, now let's take a look here at the four hour chart with exponential exponential moving average. You'll see we're well beneath the ribbons on a two hour chart, which is bearish. I mean four hours, two hour charts. We're entering the ribbons. We're showing bullish tendencies but we're still in bearish territory on the one hour chart we are still neutral on a one hour chart so yeah buyers beware guys definitely beware do not dive into dogecoin dollar cost average um that is the safest play in my personal opinion and um yeah that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button um and take a moment to subscribe hit the uh leave a comment and until next time peace out Thank you.